I was. Yeah, uh, a whole bunch of y'all blue bread. And I like that. And you're looking good and feeling good. And man, man, that keto is working self esteem, everything. Amen. Amen? Yeah. No. Um, a lot of apostolics, but they don't look good. They look depressed. I mean, I know depression is one of the main tools Satan uses. Get you out there. Look at that little man bun, a little antenna. <laughs> little satellite beach. We got a happy group. And, and remember, everything I do, I do for a reason. You can be happy at 7 o'clock on Sunday. You can lock the week down. Gonna learn a word. Amen. Mama say this is the best service, but she. He often looks like I be zinging it at nine, but okay. I just came on vacation. I'll be celebrating the third four more days anniversary, my sixty-third birthday. Right. Yeah, pick the gift up tomorrow. Hit it on. Uh get numbers chapter eleven. Learn your new word. And it's the Hebrew word for hopeful. Malik the Kaaba. Malik the Kaaba. Two words, I can say it real fast. Malik the Kaaba. First word, M E L E. Malik the Kaaba. This is to get the Jehovah Witness from away from your door. Take you off your door. Malik the Kaaba. Jehovah Witness will leave you alone. I don't need your watch tower. I have a leak to call it. Right? And that word is hopeful. You're in trouble when you run out of hope. I mean, I know you're in big trouble. When you run out of hope. A leak to call it. That's the first word. M-E-L-E. -E, then T-I-K-B-A. Big trouble when you run out of that. And then we're going to show you where Moses, get Numbers chapter 11. Leadership. Anytime you're dealing with people, it can wear you out. Yes. Yes. Amen. Anytime you're dealing with people, family, situations. How I many know you can't keep taking back to back to back to back hills? Man, I'm trying to keep uh, Darnett encouraged and mother's back on the ventilator. It's, <clears throat> but I believe it's, if it was ever, uh, our mother's blessed to have a saved daughter. Amen. 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 Saved daughter That's what it's down to. And uh, it means something to be the seed of Abraham. But Moses in chapter 11. What we're looking at Malik Takaba is hopeful. He ran out of hope dealing with people. Yeah. Because it looked like it would never change. These are crazy people, which is what gives us hope, because they were nuts and God used to dealing with crazy people who forget about the slavery. The slavery that he delivered us from. Huh? Anybody yeah. want to thank God for what he delivered them from, from out there? Amen. Come on. Amen. Yes, see, that, that, that's my problem with, 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 with apostolics who thought they were good out there, but then they come in church and they look bad. Because who said you have to look bad to be saved? Okay. None of y'all. Y'all talk about it. <laughs> Thank you. I have no problem with your high self-esteem. Amen. Amen. None whatsoever. Amen. Amen. You come in, your stuff bounce, and I say, just go get a full body spank, but don't quit switching. Like a dumpling. <laughs> don't come in here dumpy. You know, a poor, poor little girl on the news station, and they must not be helping her or something. Because she's a pretty girl, but she was on there, Lita, with her. Her hem came out of her dress. 
and you're doing the weather, and you got to walk. Come on, did somebody see the hem out her? That's the same. The hem out her dress, and then one time she had a run in her stocking. They they triple with her. For the other girl on channel nine, it was like that. She had a bad presentation. She was tough. She was sharp. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She's sharp. Uh, this other girl, how in the world you gonna be on TV, and especially high definition? And somebody, somebody's doing that on purpose. Yes. I wish I knew her. I'm like, hey, girl, you better watch it. You don't know your hem is out? And then she, she wears a cheap garment. I guess they must give them, they give them some kind of stipend to dress. They don't? Well, they need to raise her. No, 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 no. You're on TV. Okay? You're on TV. So my whole point is, is there's no excuse in this day time to look back and you don't have to look like what you're going through. Now that's hard. Hey, that's real hard. Hey man, I was encouraging uh, two people who not only are the individuals messing with them, they messing with their kids. So you know I say the same trite thing, believe God, you know everything, you know, I'm for you. But when Satan start messing with my child, Right. I went back into the basement of my mind. Right. Let's see how we can get this handled. Because this slick pastor owed my child some money. Yes. And I had to handle it because he owed my child some money. I had to go into my stash. And I'm like, now nah, here I'm encouraging them tripping with their children. And they somebody trip with mine, I forget my own scriptures. <laughs> Come on, be, I said, can we be honest? May your next class to be safe. His wife with the picture, her leaning on his shoulder. I think me and my wife are gonna do a video and dance out in the parking lot with full yes, length beaver coats on. Yes. Just, 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 just mess everybody up. Come on, let's get it done. Oh, that's easy. Let's get it done. Make sure it's a good winter day. In. Right. <laughs> Pull the top on the Range Rover. Just be tripping. Come on. Man. Put the top dipping down and it's snow outside. None of your business. That's what I'm talking about. But that's to combat the ugliness of apostolic folks. And they look, they, they have songs, but they look, generally speaking, they look like they ran out of hope. With a great God. Yes. How many of y'all know our God is a great God? Yes. He took the temperature from 30 below to 55. Yes. In the same. Yes. You gotta leave him alone. Yes. He took the temperature from the 30 below windshield. Right. Yes. To 50 something yesterday. Yes. Or be 55 today. Okay. So he deserves, we, we have to hang on to hope. We have to remember the scriptures that we tell other people. Oh, man, I'm, talking, I'm thinking about calling up some goons I know. I mean, my whole mind just. <laughs> Goons when it was your child, but when it was my child, uh -huh, uh -huh. I went to Goon City. Right. Who I know still on the ground in that city. <laughs> we all know some. I know some that owe me some favors, but that's not holiness. Amen. I can't, I mean, I can't. No, what I did was I no, I forgot the scriptures I told you. How many of you know God can't work with you in the way? He don't need you, me, to do anything but hold on to him. Amen. Because he got this. Amen. Amen. But we didn't tell Moses in chapter 11. He about to, he, he's so depressed. Malik Takala is gone. He wants to die. Write this down in your notes. He had reached the benchmark of despair. Wow. Moses.
the great man of God in the book of Jude, that Satan wanted to know where he was buried at, had an emotional breakdown. Yes. Some of y'all feel better already. Mm -hmm. He had an emotional breakdown. He didn't have a bad day. <laughs> Everybody had bad. He had any mommy y'all had emotional breakdown. All right. And the only reason that see you lie. The only reason why you weren't committed was because professionals weren't around. <laughs> Let me talk to Queenie, Queenie real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm walking down, they'd already reduced me in rank from E5 to E4. I do a spin and walk out. I, that alone is another court martial. And they didn't do it. And I started walking down Highway 73, 75. And what do you call that? Emotional break. Right? You think I was lying on Wednesday when I said I was praying and I went up under the bed? I started on the bed on top for the mat. And then, and what do you think that's? Come on, right? Come on now. Feel ya. That's probably one of my problems. I don't like Failure. fake religious people because I know you tripping. Right, oh, yeah. right. Ain't none of us saw that. That's right. She gave the tongue and full of the Holy Ghost. Right. To the point where somebody messed me. Now, how many of you know if Satan trying to fight me, I'm going to hit her back up? All right, now. All right. Everybody gets a turn. Somebody thank God for good health today. Thank God for a beautiful cold day in February. For a foggy day. Thank God for a pain free day. Man, y'all looking keto good, smelling good, feeling good, you're smiling, you're walking in here with confidence. Don't ever forget the slavery, the hip replacement. Because if you forget, that's what my, why Moses got depressed. These people don't forgot what God delivered them from. Yeah. They are there talking about the Egyptian cuisine. Cucumbers, melons, have you some black folk? Leeks, onion, the cuisine in Egypt. They don't forgot. Yeah. And here's a man trying to lead them out. No wonder he wanted to die. Right. So I like to go over these, these are not Bible stories to me, where it's real. Right. Amen. Right. Right. I know that ain't got felt for that flick. Four. Depression is nothing to play with. That's why I talk about a healthy brain. Yes. That's why I talk to you about you can't help, you can't heal somebody's brain. That man who's overly critical, that white girl critical, their brain is sick. Somebody inbox me. I said, their brain is sick. We got a time on it. Because you don't have to live with somebody with a sick brain who doesn't want to be well and wants to take you down because their brain is sick. We don't see nowhere where the poor Moses wanted to take anybody else down. His brain was, he was, people wore him down. Because they kept talking about the cuisine of Egypt when God had delivered them from slavery. Huh? You know how we love people, try to pull people out. But if you just really want to go back, I told my daughter, sometimes when you find out the devil you hooked up with, that's going to stop you from going back. All right? Huh? So if they bring you a flower, a car, it don't make no difference. They have done so much, a flower, a car, whatever. <laughs> a flower and a car. To pull you back in to finish you. Lana brought somebody here and that man could not look up because he was a finisher. He couldn't wait to get out of here last night. But he a finisher. All this time he wasn't studying. He couldn't look at me. I was getting spit on him. Standing right by him. No, you're a finisher. 
God wants to take you back to slavery and kill you. So Moses depressed because I got to lead people who keep wanna who want to go back to the very thing that almost took their life. I don't bitch want me to have nobody. You already had nobody. That's why I'm trying to help you. You need a somebody. You got a whole history of nobodies. Right. Uh, and I, you know, this is the age. Here, here. Let me throw this out there. It's time to do. Ladies, I cannot help the fact that you're, you were born in the area where even men that get married, that's why we make over coach and, and step in uh, these men. We got men who don't, who want to be married for a minute, but they don't want to be married. I'm going I'm to fuck, but then can't live without us. You'll lose your mind. Fool with somebody like that. Uh, you'll hear something like, uh, I don't want to be with you. I just don't want to be with nobody. You want to be with your computer. Or whatever. How many, how many young people ain't got time to be trying to figure that mess out? You don't know what you want? Now we're gonna see if this is a temporary thing, because this is permanent. I'm gonna help you with your decision. Right. Come on. Right. Now I'm gonna stick around for a curse. Yeah. Wasn't well, real Louis. You could just go ahead and lay that thing down. Anyway, pick up verse 11. My attitude got a lot better since talking to y'all. Right? And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And, now Moses, Moses, at least Moses ain't trying to take nobody down. He like God. You did this to me. You put, I was in the suburbs with my little sheep, minding my own business. I was, in the, I was on 168th and no Negro. I was out there with my few little sheep, and you started a fire. I wasn't bothering you. Everybody, come on, man, come on, you know, but I was not bothering you, God. My little sheep were behaving. <laughs> Wasn't a go to mom. <laughs> no, you gotta play arsonist. <laughs> Set a fire in the suburbs. I'm talking about I'm gonna need some folk. Three, Moses is very depressed. And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight? I'm going to talk to you about yourself, God. Hold on, read. That thou layest the burden of all this people upon me. And here's some else you did. Read. Have I conceived all this people? No, I didn't have them come out of my behind. Read. Have I begotten them? Have I? How many of y'all hit God with some have I? Yeah. I did this, and I did that, and you did this, and I did that. Now we're talking about being real today. So you got you got some power beyond Moses. You tripping. You about to be smoking a blunt by wings. Just listen. Read. Have I begotten them that thou shouldest say unto me, carry them in thy bosom as a nursing father, beareth the sucking child? Oh, he getting God told you. And you know God ain't killed him yet. Right? Because God know they try some people. <laughs> God ain't killed him yet. God, I, I, man, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Read. Unto the land which thou swearest, unto their fathers, which should I have flesh to give all this people? Oh, they all, and then they were always, some of y'all can see, they, have, they were always complaining about food. <laughs> now, now, see, now you got some of y'all woke up. Oh, and, 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 and here was a problem tracing both with the manner that he sent. They got it's the same thing every day. Right. Yep. How many of y'all want the same good health every day? How many of y'all want the same good health? Yes, sir. I'm bored. You bored because you ain't got no money. You can't go nowhere. Who's fault is that? Eat that outfit you got. Get that outfit on and start walking. Take a trip. 
Huh? Go find that bag of potato chips you empty. Do I even got no money? My life is boring in church. Well, what, what was your other life about? about? Boring. boring. What was your other life about? Huh? Taking pregnancy tests and seeing if it was coming through. That ain't fun. Nope. Going to CVS drugstore. That ain't fun. STD. Running through a bunch of people's pictures. That ain't fun. Nope. People trying to shoot you up over a parking spot. That ain't fun. Nope. Lean over the toilet going, Buick, 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 Riviera. <laughs> Deuce in the quad. That ain't fun. Well, I mean, I'm not bored. I'm happy to be in Jesus' name. In this week. Some of y'all, the reason why we have the booth, y'all don't realize how much better you look over here. Without the restriction. I was watching something yesterday. Good people, very sincere. But they're not bad. God, we watch, man, if, if, if we just watch. Y'all don't look like y'all, look like y'all straining. I ain't worried about one of you foxes running off or something. I trust y'all because if you do, you do. Alright. Huh? Alright. Come on. I don't know what you do when you leave here. I'm gonna watch You might be, you know. In the middle of making love, you notice the time. <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> huh? about way after nine or something. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Hey, Amen. Huh? But some, somebody, somebody, somebody is glad to be in God's will. Amen. Somebody is thankful that God brought him through January of 2019. Woo! I told you at what? That some of y'all say we're going to wait till March. Did he come out soon? Did he come out fine? You done said it didn't have a check. Finally got the check. Uh, what the day you call me? On Wednesday. No, what's the check on Wednesday? Got your money on Thursday. Hurry up and hunger. A whole month without no income? Wow. Yes. From your main job. Yes. Without God, you'll hold up a liquor store. You done did something. You've been selling EBT cards or whatever. Got your hustle up. <laughs> Some of y'all like, well. <laughs> hey, man, read. Moses is pressed. I know he get God told. For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. Now, now, now he's a monster. He don't show God what they eat. <laughs> I mean, he real though. And the other, there are four prophets stepping that didn't want to live. I don't know if we count Jonah. I don't, I don't like it. But we know I have to count Jonah. He's just full of himself because he has some money. That's so all you got to have money. Wake up, Tasha. You got my parents' friends. Sure, y'all couldn't help but miss you because you make my home sick. <laughs> He's just laughing at you. <laughs> Come in, Nia. Come on. Good gracious, girl. Yes, yes. One thing about whoever married you, you better miss because you're a nifty woman going through a window. <laughs> you say, what? Oh, 911. I think Superman went through the window. I just helped Superman go through the window. Read. I am not able to bear all this people alone because it is too heavy for me. Talk, Moses. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 they ain't even they brought up TV no more. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you don't be stopping. Uh, take that off the box, yeah. They don't brought up TV no more, because they already know I ain't trying to be filtered. I, I didn't make the cut. 
<laughs> uh, I mean, I ain't trying to make the cut. Amen. Read. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me. Uh, don't say that, Moses. Yes, I, Moses, I feel this way. If this is what I, this, this is going to be for the rest of my life. I want to lead. See, y'all ain't think leadership think like that. You say, I don't want to lead. I don't want to spend the rest of my life. You know, when you just have you, you just have you. Now, sometimes you get on your nerves. Now, come on. How many of y'all have gotten on your own nerves? Like, you know, like, what's wrong with you? My one daughter always said, I'm just a knucklehead. That's, that's what she called her. That's her, her self. I'm just, I'm just a knucklehead. Bruce Springsteen said, I want to change my hair, my face. That's a bad song, Dancing in the Dark. It's a bad song. When they used to write songs that we could understand. I don't even know what the Migos are saying. Are they saying something? I ain't heard nothing. I can't, I can't understand when they talk regular. And, and Juvenile, did he ever get that peanut butter out of his mouth? Blood for bread wolves. Yeah, oh, well, we know that. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I know. I know. I know. Up. Somebody in the back door Santa him. I know. You see what Bow got beat up by a woman? Little Bow Wow got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Little Bow Wow got beat up, y'all. Oh, all right, that's all. All right, read, read, read. We talking about Moses. I'm talking about Bow Wow. Read. And if thou dost deal with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand. Excuse me. Is your oh, you're the daughter. Excuse me. I thought that was. How old are you? Lord, am I gonna make it for the next four years? <laughs> she can't help it. We gonna protect her. That's another reason why I let no slick preacher come through here. In case R. Kelly come through. Okay. She can't help that. No. She's been that way my last three, four years. Can, are we blessed? I know R. Kelly come up in here. That's the way God made it. We're going to help her through the next fall. Amen. Little raggedy preacher, hey, read. Yeah, I, I, I go back and forth, cast having victory to lose it, <laughs> just like y'all. Right. Yeah. One minute I'm spirit, the next minute, mmm. <laughs> uh, I said, y'all read. I pray thee out of hand, and if I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. Wow, Moses. And the Lord said unto you know, and, and they, they're the reason why, you know, he smoked the rock. Yeah. They're the reason why he didn't make it. Right. He ready to go, y'all. Yep. And there were there were three others who did the same. I'm trying to get somebody to hang on to being hopeful. Amen. There are days in the 33 years, I didn't want, man, I used to regret Saturday because the next day was Sunday. Yes. Y'all think I'm playing? No. Regret says, oh, here we go. Okay, it's Saturday. We're the next, I got to get up in front of people. Some with mind fights, some with don't mind. Some just, just, some there just pick me apart. Teach Mr. Teach Mr. Teach Mr. I had one man here. I buy, he tried to go buy. Well, good luck, homie. You didn't yeah. this. Right. Okay. Sold out worldwide. Okay. That means silly stuff. I'm gonna show him I'm not interested in what he's saying. And what's gonna get you? Right. I'm gonna show him I just so what you gonna do with it? Ain't like I'm following you home. You know what happens with people, and the Bible says it that you can oppose yourself. This is the easiest way to get corrected is the word of God. I ain't following you home. I don't remember watch the Super Bowl. Hey, I'm not following nobody home. It's better to hear it today. Yeah. 
gift of God. I want God to show me. No, you do not. You don't want God to show you nothing. You want to hear a word. You want to be grateful. You want to clap your hands. You want to be thankful. That is February the 3rd. Amen. I got somebody at the hospital right now. Amen. Waiting on a verdict from who they love. And you got who you love. Man. So Moses, Moses, he's like, I don't, this is it. He ran out of hope. Okay. Get first Kings. Chapter 19. This is a lie. Yeah. I don't know if uh, this chick was a power lifter like Nia, but he's scared of him. He ran. <laughs> he ran. And he ran right through his victory. Chapter 19. Start of verse 1. And he, Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. The husband does. told the wife. She the thug. Right. She the one with the sawed off gaze with the serial number scraped off. <laughs> she the one. Sit down, Abe. I got this. Mm -hmm. What you tell me, Reed? And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And he did this. And he did that. So now, Abe, bring up. And he did Oh, the prophet. Oh, the prophet. Where you at? Read. And with all how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a message and message. Oh, without email. No Instagram. Tell him I'm looking for him. Read. Sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow. That like a death time. threat. Is that a threat? Yes, it is. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm going to get him rest and I, I, got, I got something to say. Uh, Elijah, that's what you get for being powerful and not having a wife. I'm going to add to the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Miss Elijah wouldn't let you threaten her husband. Right. No. Real. All right. All right. You tell that heifer to meet me in the octagon. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, she said, what? So what did him? Lisa. No, nah, his wife done blew up and said, she go, oh! Right. <laughs> oh, really? Right. Right. Watch this. Really? The first thing we're gonna do is grab, even if we really get that book, plug that, get that track out. Then grab enough. Now see, if you fought Simona, you in trouble. She too get right the way for whooping you. See, too get right whooping you. That's what you get Elijah for being powerful. You ain't got no wife. Now you're running from a woman. So where you want me to hide me? I'll be right there. Produce? Where you got those clothes at? <laughs> Keep that on the podcast. Read. And when he saw How many of you know that powerful men need a wife? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Moses had a wife, but she was ignorant. She was a helper. I'm for Saratoga. <laughs> she gonna circumcise the child, then throw the flesh at his genitals. Now he can't. Now you can't perform miracles with a woman like that. <laughs> no, you That's what? Yeah. No. And it got him cold. I was like, you're like, what happened to her? He had to go back home. He was married to somebody. Now, can you appreciate the investment I'm trying to make in Tuesday? Amen. No, no Amen. miracle that Moses performed was his wife with him. Wow. 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 
No. Huh? Now come on, she's throwing four skin at a husband. You know, you can't, you can't ride with no heaven like that. <laughs> huh? They be trying to cross the Red Sea, and she be like, <laughs> what my wife No, she had to go tell Pharaoh a thing or two. And then there she is floating. <laughs> No, I handled it. I take y'all across the, city, the, the river. <laughs> and say it again. Okay, somebody in ministry is this. That's what you get for being powerful and you ain't got no life. Okay? This man, Elijah, running. Read. And when he saw that, he arose. He did what? He arose. Why did he sleep in that day? Because <laughs> this heifer wasn't bluffing. Right. Why did he sleep in? See, if he had a wife, she would have got the message. Because you know women know this. What's this? What's this? Hey, honey, what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got this. <laughs> he went up. Hey, honey, honey, where'd you be? Oh, is that torn? No, 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 this is not the one. You kind of work. Oh, yeah. Tremendous work out at the gym. What the? No, 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 I got in. I just spent some time on the treadmill. He didn't sleep in, he ran, read. And went for his life. <laughs> his life, read. And came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. He found a little campground to cry at, read. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He left his aid. Now he depressed. Yeah. Left his aid and went on. Man, he ran for his life. Because he ran out of hope. Powerful. The chapter before, he was whooping everything inside. Bragging mm -hmm. about the water. You know, you get really big. You, get, you right. start winning a little long. You get mm, full of yourself. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Now, let me. He came and sat down under juniper tree. Sit down. He sat down. I'm, I'm going to go to Mr. Light. What's your man doing sitting down under a tree scared? That's your man. Biblical name. Look at like men with biblical names. Here's your Elijah up under a tree, running from a woman. Your man. That's what he get for being powerful and not having no wife. I ain't never anybody teach that. That's what he get. He's scared. Now he don't want to live. Amen. Let me give you a little segue into my nine o'clock. I shall not die. But live. How y'all like that? Huh? If you have a healthy, how many of y'all got big plan? It's February. You got some gold. That's all I love about Shelly B. She got gold. She's marking off. That girl right there gonna get that range roll. I got people here. Amen. I got I got two range rover requests that gotta be filled this year. Somebody only sent me the color. I thought they wanted a sedan. They didn't know. I want a convertible. I'm trying to get all y'all in Amen. Or at least look that. Or at least a, 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 what's bank of, a, a, a suspicious activity report. You can't get that putting in no uh, $18 income tax return. They, they only want you to come to the window with that little money. <laughs> $18. Amen. <laughs> uh, uh, I shall do what? Live. Amen. Amen. That's my new smart, that's my new Brian Bell smart Alec Remont. Brian Bell, he's a, he, he never need help. <laughs> that's why me and him close. We both need help. <laughs> we go to Saks Fifth Avenue at 2 o'clock. And the man was trying to be nice. 
a little racism. What brings you here? You! Brian Bell is just, he just needs help. When he cut that hair and got rid of that red suit. Huh? The man, the man needs deliverance. <laughs> he can breathe now. His brain can breathe. I live. That's what I do for a living. I live. I shall live and not die. I want you to rebuke every death thought you had. It's your time to die. It's your time to live. I'm Victor. I'm Stephen Seagal. Uh, uh, hard to kill. I'm John Wick. If I go digging up my basement, you better hurry up and run. That's right. That's right. You done killed my puppy, the love of my life. You better find your way out of my view. All right. Huh? I'm Victor. It was a dream you had. Yeah. I thought I was in a bad cup. I'm going to come out. Just you think I'm drowning. Huh? Yes. I'm not dying. Amen. Come on, somebody tell I'm not dying. I'm not dying. And you ain't gonna kill me either. <laughs> huh? I'm not gonna wipe out my medicine cabinet worrying about what you gonna do. It's though you not human. You are flesh and blood, and when God says stop, you gonna stop. Amen. But I'm not gonna wipe out my medicine cabinet. So when God delivered me, I don't even have the help to enjoy what God did. Because I done made myself sick. <laughs> Worrying about what you're going to do next. She going to ask me, the one sitting behind you, was I going to fast February 15th? <laughs> for the government, because my, I took credit for the government. <laughs> I said I took credit. All right. I woke up and went to God by any means, just sir. Stop that. Right. Lo and behold, breaking news. Here comes the orange one. Number 45. Here comes the orange one, coach. We never thought, man, that we'd live to see a seventh grader in office. What was that, what was that old show called? Do you have the, of a fifth grade? We need to bring that back. Right, right. No, we never thought we'd ever have a seventh grader in office. Sesame Street. Sesame Street, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and that's Sarah. What's the Huckleberry? Is she a robot? Yes. You could, you could get her. Yeah, well, you ain't cute like that. You at least have your own mind. <laughs> Good gracious. Is she a robot? You get in the right place, man. Woo. I thought I was going fast. No, we know that. On the anniversary of my 63rd birthday. No, sir. You tripping. Yeah. Silly you to even suggest it. <laughs> huh? I'm about living. Yeah. How many y'all in 2019? Y'all know we was just a minute. We was here for watch night and it's February the 3rd. Is the year racing? It's racing. Come on. Then you need to be racing. Get death off your mind. Quit existing. Stick to your keto, but don't let your faith get slim. All right, now. Live your best life. Amen. How many of y'all expecting a breakout? You gonna get your money right? Your thing home? Head by. I'm not, I'm not, do not lose hope. Fairway the third, you already give up. And you ain't even alive. You ain't even powerful. You just quit. Because that's what you used to seeing people do. You can't quit on King Kari. Who's going to put that bun in his head? He's looking at me like, Bishop.
feel some depression. You don't have time to be depressed. Time to live your best life. But I will show you uh, it's more to share it enough. It's good to If there were Brandon, Thank you. 
hot and fast. Can you imagine hair tasting like ice cream? <laughs>
Man, that, that king put the goldfish on the fast. Everything had to fast. Hey, man, and that just brought a little bit So now he don't want to do it. He don't embrace it. And we got what we like. So this wasn't like, oh, I'm not going to press off vacation. I need to work up to the top of the rock all the time. Elijah, he runs from the woman, so they run this morning. That's what you get for being a powerful man, not a great woman. Because a great a woman made him run. A real helper. Alright? The, the, the kind of keep a two-shot damage during the support hole. So the thing you sat in the leg, you're gonna run. But you got a two-shot damage. Come on. Man. Now you want to die. I can do all that crap. See, that's what you get for being a powerful man, Elijah. But I'm a powerful woman. A powerful woman would stop that. She would put you to sleep and went on hand that she would tick her up. She would read the email, saw she was in your DM and said, I'll be right back. You gonna play my husband? I'll be right back. I'm going to do nothing. They don't want in the top room or whatever. If you take her, I'll be right back. Huh? I'll be right back. They don't like me right there. I'll be counting down. See the text. Come get it. But this time, 13th Street. I'll be back. But you ain't threatening my man. Right. And he ain't back in hell. Right. It can be woman to woman. Isn't that an old R&B song? Yeah. That can be woman to woman. I got this. You gonna threaten my man? Right. All because, amen, he threatened me two and a half. That's what he got me for, amen. And because he didn't have this Elijah, he's still up under a tree in front of you know, he said, go ahead, go ahead, feed that boy, get taken some Popeyes. See, sometimes God has taken some Popeyes, I gotta go find me somebody else, maybe Elisha. Because my great name got death on his name. Alright? But my point is, it's real. It's real. And we're gonna get to Psalm 118, I'm gonna move to it. Alright? Pick it up! This is a powerful song. We're gonna, gonna start off with. It is better to trust in the Lord. Oh, man. Eight. Oh, five. Man. I called upon the Lord in distress. In what? In distress. In distress. Really? The and Lord. You don't never want to get so. You don't think you need God. The stresses don't come. Man is born of a woman a few days of full of trouble. Oh, no, bless it. Trouble. I would say trouble. Yeah. Amen. You don't know what trouble Satan in a little way for you this week. Financial trouble. Yes. Amen. I was happy last week. I had a tip for $10,000 to $10,000. They still weren't finished. From the upstairs, he went out. Amen. Thank God. I ain't going to come out of here. Hey, it is what it is. Huh? But it came right before the 30 foot. So it came right before that real Arctic glass. I don't know how mad. And I don't know how mad. It just stuff happens in life. That's why it happens. I gave y'all instructions. Remember last Sunday? We ain't doing it. This Sunday, I gave you instructions. I'll tell you what people do on Sundays. Mad people. Hold on to that thought. Now, they're not going to be really religious. They're all about uh, Amen. Remember the Super Bowl, 530. So you get the time to SOS saying, take time to do it right, all right? Sunday is for a cup. I can say y'all. Hey, Amen. See, you know, like, you better believe it. You talk about her like that ain't his girlfriend. That's his wife. Amen. You don't argue the fuck on Sunday and fall out. You give me. I got one thing that you want. Know, you can't come to me after church. If I leave, everybody run out. Because you don't know how because the enemy hates marriage. Yeah. Yeah. He messes me and my boyfriend. You're back to your boyfriend. That's why it's a boyfriend. That's why you got to do it. He ain't you. you say, make those vows and see what cracks up. Right. It's only popular when you make those vows. Why? Because God is a covenant God. That's why that man that was here last week didn't want to come back. Amen. Because he got a city woman he's going to finish. And I saw it. Did we see it? We he wasn't studying. He got a woman he don't want to let go. 
she want to be here. She keeps coming. I'm gonna free her. Amen. 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 I'm gonna free her. I'm gonna free her. Suffer the word. Amen. Amen. Huh? <laughs> wow. See that that that's self inflicted. But as a married couple, that's why you enjoy peaceful days, serene days, where you have jazz concerts down in your soul. No, I didn't say the five line boy, you might start fighting. Yeah. I didn't say the mass choir from New Jersey, because all that ain't gospel. They can say Jesus, but I don't feel God is in that stuff. Huh? So, so, so the peace of God. So the stress is coming. Kill it. Yeah. So you want to take advantage of calm, tranquil day. Read. That's good instruction. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Oh, a large place. Where, oh, I'm not sure I'm back. Uh, 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 you lay up. A large place. Well, I have room to fall down and get back up. Yeah. Come on, you need a large uh, I need a, I mean, you're playing with me. You don't need a large place so you can walk in pace to flow. You know, a narrow place, uh, uh, you're going to hurt yourself, you can cramp up, you need God to put you in a large place so you can walk and talk to Him. Amen. amen. And commune with Him. He has high self esteem, so whatever you say, amen, man, He has low self esteem, all of us be dead. But He has high self He wants you to tell Him that He'll know what He's doing. As long as you stick with it. Yeah. You can tell him that I don't want to say you did this, you did that, whatever. You need a large place for going for, to walk the floor. How many of y'all need a large place? Well, I don't walk the floor because so much was happening. Yeah. But the place was too small. I would have jumped off and left my destiny and made it better. So when I get a large place, I got to move a and get back up and walk. That's why I tell my best members, they come to this church with a stick. This a large place. They walk around. They want anger. They want to bring anger to them stop. They want his heartbeat from stopping. They are a couple of black bowel movers from not being around. It's that simple, folks. God holds all the cards. The birth of all mankind is in his hand. When God says enough, it will be enough. Amen. Amen. Sometimes God cannot work. Keep that. Uh, if God. I ain't kissing no baby. If you take your baby and go home, I ain't kissing no baby when I'm in here. God holds the breath of all mankind in his hand. This is what he said. When God gets tired of it, it's going to stop. Oh, you don't go, I'm going to quit my job. No, you better make money. You better wear, you better serve people. Act like you in that movie, get out. I'm going to leave you alone. Leave a job because they're tripping with you. Read. The Lord taketh my part with them that can help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them. Oh boy, it's in your Bible, read. That help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Mm. It, is, it is better. To trust in the Lord than to put confidence in a man. Yeah. Ooh, but, read. It is better. I'm away. That's kind of good. You just 
Anytime you're trying to progress, God is a progressive God. You will always have a cluster of people in there who try to stop you. You will always have some people who don't want you to be the best you can be. Amen. That's why I'm trying to get some of you to change your sin. Because you keep drawing the same kind of man who's trying to pull you down. Even men. If you're a progressive man, you want something, you can't have no dragon female. But amen. Pumping Cardi B and want to just be crazy, just act a fool. Man, you want a woman of God, somebody to have children by so you can build a legacy. Amen. So when you try to do that, if you come from a family where everybody's booed up, you don't want to get married. They will gain up on you. If you come from a family where everybody in that case is a relationship or getting high or going to the they will gain up on you. If you try to be a woman of God, you try to be kept by God's power and fire. The people on your job will be trying to introduce you to folks, trying to do miss or something. If you try to be a man, They compass me about 
Yay, they can pass me about, but... Surrounded me. Now, you might be sleeping for a I got here. They woke up, they surrounded me. Mm -hmm. It's a family member. It's a people trying to do that right now as I'm sleeping. Trying to do that in. Don't worry, you wake up when it's your turn. Sleep on, sweater. Mm -hmm. No, you wake up. The people surrounded, they pay attention. Because they, they want to know, what do I do with all this opposition? What do I do with all these people? What do I do with my own mind trying to collapse on me? What do I do with the anger? I want to handle this my own way. What do I do, amen, when I got people I already dusted back in the day trying to trip with me? And I know they just say, amen, shoot my head in the mouth. And anybody can get a on Facebook, but what about you sitting in aisle three at Walmart, amen? What about I want from you and your donut shop, amen? Everybody's bad on Facebook. Back is one case. That's crazy. He's still. He's still. He's still. He met this child at this. Getting away with something. Stop 
that God makes it. That's how people, amen, they get bigger and bigger in their sin. And the word of God said, your sins will find you out. Now they will hunt you down. Your sins will not run run on you. Your sins will snitch you out. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so you gotta thank God for a word. Amen. Let the ungodly be ungodly. Let the unrighteous be unrighteous. Amen. And it takes a word to say righteous when you got unrighteous people trying to do you in. Yeah. So everybody know a doom somewhere. Everybody got somebody that kind of ain't really all there. Some have more than one. Some have the majority. There you go. Amen. My sister is 4 foot 10. A giant mom. And she was getting threatened by somebody at the school. <laughs> My nephew, Victor P, got on Facebook and said, Huh, I don't know your family do it. <laughs> she gonna do what? He run around with a bunch of folks. Don't have any video folks. Walk in felonies. <laughs> you can't even walk with him if you're a misdemeanor. <laughs> <laughs> you are a me and you can't buy out again. You can walk in front. Everybody, everybody, if you ever want to pull your numbers up, there's a rest of everybody else. Everybody, everybody is doing a couple of things. That's what he's going to do. But he got on Facebook and he said, uh, huh, I don't know about your thing. This is that you're educated. This is that you got your doctor. This is give us a word. But you don't want to do that. Amen. Don't say you ain't tempted. Don't be lying now. Because I'm not going to belong to the message because you're lying. Okay, show me. You tempted when people are tripping with you and you ain't bothered with them. How you going to bother with them? How you going to bother with them? I'm going to have to hang out. Okay, tell me to you, you're right. Because you are messy. You're right. You're right. What's up, you're right. Well, like, no, I can't lie. I'm going to have to love. No, you're messy. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, that's what you but uh, I'm like, how y'all really don't mess with nobody? Really don't for real. Don't bother. I'm not saying nobody's on the roof with your mind. But then it bothers you when people trip with you. And if you ain't careful, you'll speak in any tongue. Hallelujah, yourself. Come on now, you'll speak in any tongue. Hallelujah. You'll speak in any tongue. Oh, 
Maar ik heb het dat God weer kan in de wereld. Ja, wel. Weer kan het ook niet. Dat is waar ik het systeem moet naar haar problemen, naar haar problemen. Ik ben meer voor de manier, meer problemen. Oké? The bees start to come out. So they say, I told you so. You two know you've been married. You need to know you have babies and that's around. But you should be young to follow God's son. You got some crazy time. So bees swarm them because they're trying to be right. So I get them wrong with this stuff. You go home, you go home, quit running. Quit running, quit taking off. Quit dealing with it. Don't have to talk. Have a schedule. Because the bees can't wait to hear the door that shit come out. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy oh, you. Know, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight. I'm standing there. But there are people who hear that God delivered you. Don't want you to stay there. There are people that hear that God is progressing you. You got your own program. They don't want to fight. Because they waste the time. I had a girl that's on the way from out. And I had one of my little teenagers be trying to get her ready because. She has a pen, she's one of these, she's a, a pretty girl that don't know. That's bad. And she'll settle, because her dad's gonna, she'll settle and she'll wake up later on in life and realize that she's settled. So we, we, we had her, all they come out, we got people around her, adult people, who want her to win. Uh, before the, 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 the bees, she's not ready to have bees surround her. Now, does that make sense? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Only about this kind of church visitor is we 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 love these kids. Yeah. We want all of them to be great. Yeah. See, not, not not the pack stuff like this, bro. But we want all of them to be great. Yeah. Huh? And so so because we want all of them to be great, you know, we come from discipline, accountability, not being able to hold them accountable, deal with, and yet we have fun too. You can't correct nobody you don't play with. And have fun with it. Uh, and, 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 and I mean, if we got a roll with people, that's judging their role right there. Now, I got a roll and she just, she just might say yeah. But, but that, 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 that judging their role. Don't laugh at that, though, because one of you on that role, she's a married woman with, with the best husband, amen. Yeah. Because, because we're serious about you being the best that you can be. Huh? But yet we surround you with so much love and people positive that the real world is not like that. There will come out your family is not like that. Because there's no, no one travels. That, that's the body. That's what we hear. Nobody travels. Nobody, it's the same old everything for every generation. Every generation is impoverished. Every generation is EBT. Every generation is full of quitters. Every generation is being abandoned kids. Every generation starts over. And we're going to stop that in 22 
so forth. See, I told you they were just, what were you doing? He was 19. That's what I thought. What you got your show for? That's what I thought. Why your self esteem so low? Why your edge is seen? That's what I thought. You should have a head for a head. Mm -hmm. You can't keep it in the head punches, make your baby head go set. Baby hair is so low. I see a rapper. I might as well do this in some beats. I'm gonna get paid. You don't you know, make your head go set your head punches. The blessing on your life. You're going to feel something for me. I'm going to stop that right now. Shit. Right Let me holler at them. OK? 
Okay? This is the way it's supposed to be. When if you have a son, have son, and you're supposed to have that girl be like a daughter. Right, right, right. That's only if you call it shot the way it is. All right, I got one that's a daughter, I got one that isn't. I ain't called her. I said it. He's going to reply to that. Man, y'all. Shall I go get my hat again? But you're supposed to speak the word of righteousness. Right. Now, if you do it right, then you don't want your kids mad. So, a beautiful mind you marry somebody, you know, mind is crazy. We, we love her, but you, you raise her. So, so your, your future son, uh, son-in-law who doesn't exist but does, says, Mom, Mom, I want to talk to you about her. Oh, come on. Now, nah, you did it. Come this is what we talked about when we was in eighth grade. Now you owe my, you owe my son. This is his talk. I'm training now. Right. You owe my son an apology. Right. Now both of you, you kids got a problem. Y'all gonna stay in the room. Y'all work it out. You know how many women that's in this church hurt right now? Cause some knack legged raggedy mother sided with her sorry son. Now say amen. Her sorry son. Now, you know how many good guys fit me with. Your son. How somebody gonna put hands on you and run to the guy? Now, why are you here? Just when you need help, here's somebody signing with a raggedy son. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how it's so rough. You know why it's rough? Because you'll fool around hook over a spirit uh, that has enabled him. Her little God. Her little demon. You thought you got a husband. You got a demon. You married into a demonic family. That that child can't do no more. They can do any kind of way, say anything I want to do. And they mom and they dad is. They were drumming for me and I ain't had no pick it up. They ain't had no pick it up now. So sometimes these kids are just trying to do right. No wrongdoer should be able to take his abode in your house.
with her husband's mom. How do you think, I'm going to mess with y'all, how do you think this mother feel knowing that my daughter will never be mistreated by her husband? Now some of y'all are sitting here and been mistreated and the person that could have stopped that you sat there and what? Somebody thank God for a word, amen. The person who could have stopped it. And we love those right again to the death. Then they turn around and get smoked. If I'm sure I ain't trying to do it. They, uh, he, was a, he was abusive. He used to beat her. Hard to beat Smith and Lesson. They beat Smith and Lesson. You beat Smith, you can't beat Lesson. <laughs> My baby, God, why did you let it? Why did you sit there and watch? Why did you raise somebody abusive? Now, I don't know. But sometimes these kids are surrounded just because they're trying to get a first family in the in the NA family to do right. So when they have problems, you can't go to the person betting against you. Come on back home, baby. Be a hoe like me. <laughs> they even got they even, they even got snacks in there. Got the hell out. He got the back of that kid. Come on back home, son. Come on back, Junior. I got your onesie. I got your onesie. I'll fold it up on the bed for you. Of course, you can't get one leg in the wood 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 they keep broken this song here. Anyway. Period. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want to raise somebody who's a menace to society. So I want you to care for some of y'all. The problem comes from my other people. I'm not going to get that good people. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're wrong, you're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong. We know the gender, we won't call it up. But that's so the bees that want your marriage to die. You do not give people what they're hungry for. They want to die. You know what? Eh. Eh. Give me one more. I'll do part two. I don't care. Take a little while to get back to vacation. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall mm. but the Lord Help me. Mm. So you're pain now. I know. Mm. That's like the nerves. Stress. You're surrounded. You're going to be all right. You lay hands. Yeah. Lay hands on you. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. yeah. That's this thing coming up. Yeah. Hey, Amen. See, see. It's just something you need. But somebody else, this is the world we need for the rest of the week. Because yeah. it is on and popping. Somebody else, they need this now. Amen. Let me finish for now. You got to go, you got to go. Ready? The Lord is my strength. My strength? And song. So, woo, read. And is become my salvation. Oh, uh, no, so read that again. So you can have a couple of parts and miss the last part, right? Mm -hmm. Read it. Read about it. Read. The Lord is my strength. He's my strength. And song. He must he must what? My song. My song. And it's the hey, you do the trap music when you are in the trap. That ain't gonna help you. Yeah. Like one little young man, he's not coming in, man. He come in a little video, I'll put my little bit excited. That's the least of it. I really live like that. Like, I don't talk out. Not one of them paint you, I'm not gonna check. 
I mean, if you don't live like that, uh, me and my old son, we're going to try to who keeps up the southern life. And a whole lot of kids don't live what they're talking about. Like a whole lot. Okay? They have gifts, but they don't have the business acumen to handle the financial part. Right. So they get took. That's why in Vogue had the number one song, they were right behind up. Four festival with an oil leak, and they had the number one song. Number one album. Okay? The Lord is my strength. He's my song. But guess what? He because me, he can be my strength and song and not yet be my salvation. He's my strength. If I keep leaning on his arm, his everlasting arm, if I keep singing that song of redemption, and then it becomes my salvation. Why am I worried about it no more? It is in God's hand. Somebody gave him become your salvation. They get some rest in some peace. And let my God put you to sleep. Finish it up. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The, the right hand of the Lord good valiant. Right hand, three. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. He'll slap us out, three. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiant. You'll put hands on him. You'll put hands on him. Hey, y'all got a hand. He got hands. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now, I know it's another song, but, but see, God is the one to first up. Somebody said, touch me in the morning. Yeah, he got hands. <laughs> God, 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 God touched something. Amen. Just when you think I can't take no more, man, you gotta hear those brand boots coming to your defense. Yeah. Woo! Lord, I, 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 I'm like, I'm gonna go from there. You know what God is doing? Some of y'all audience ain't getting up yet. Yeah. He want everybody in the video. He want everybody in the video to break down all my crime, take another nap in the street, and then God says, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it so quick. Amen. The very people, amen, that were compassing you and surrounding you, who's going to come to you and eat prayer. I just prophesied. The very people, yes. Yes, I'm going to somebody. The very people that made the life miserable are going to run to you and say, can you pray? Yes, sir. Right now, it's funny. Walking with God is funny, stupid tongues is funny, paying time on our media. Everything is funny until they get sick. Mm -hmm. And it's funny to them all. Even the church that they go to, they know they ain't got no power. They want somebody with power. If you're like a little, you ain't trying to get somebody who's fake praying for you. Huh? Right. See, everything out of the get sick enough. I got a girl right now at her mother's bedside. Because it's iffy. But I gotta get it to her mother. That girl walked in here. Terrible life. Mother, father, she walked in here with her boyfriend and, and put him away. She's a lawyer. She's at her mother's bedside right in the house. Call her family. I would have a rich way of some girl. I said it all goes toward the saint to see how much she can handle. Because right. the other person, watch this now, smart other people who think you can't be touched, sometimes you can't even pray for yourself. You are that messed up. You need a saint. Always keep a saint in your life. Quit running down good pastors. You're going to need a pastor one day. Amen. You always have to have a you have to have a family that comes out there. Now, when dad is at the door, ain't nobody pray. Now, everybody ran. God got hands. And God don't even have to touch you to deal with you. God touched something you love. He'll take all your available time. Even for like this, I run out of key with this, this, this is boring. Man, you get a text message and you get the altar when we come back to it. You think I'm playing? Well, they texted it. Man, he and I teach you can text. Throw it up in there. You get one text message and you, you won't be hungry no more. Take one text message. 
Wow. God got hands, y'all. Yeah. God ain't never sing a song. I can't hear that too. He can get to you and don't even touch you. Have you had an affliction on your mind? Have you cried out to the truth? You'll be, you'll be cute. Man, ooh, God will break sides of those. Y'all know that? God had your beard in the car. God had lint in your face. Y'all play, man. Y'all play, man. Well, you want to tell me to get on earth law. They can't say invincible. Man, God, ooh, God. What about the blood of you and you be in prayer? You always go check your urine and your suit. You see you see some dark blood, you better hustle into a hospital. Huh? Man, God, hold all the cards, amen. Don't have an attitude toward him. You owe yourself under the mighty hand of God. And you know what God means if you don't let circumstances and people around you drain the life out of you. Be my scripture. I will live. I shall not die. I shall not die. But live. I want you to talk to your situation right now. I ain't dying. Don't plan on me dying. I'm not falling apart in this. You are not going to stand over my grave while I'm alive. And think that you killed my man there. That you took my joy, that you took everything. Amen. I shall what? I shall live. I shall not die, but live. And what I'm going to do while I'm alive? I'm going to declare the the words of the Lord. Lord. I'm going to tell everybody what God delivered me.